It's a case that has gone unsolved for nearly two decades in Phoenix, but new DNA testing has finally revealed the identity of a man who was found dead in an alley 18 years ago. Experts who helped break the case spoke with Team 12's Chase Golightly about how they were finally able to come up with the missing pieces of this puzzle. October 19th, 2004. It was in this alleyway on West Monroe Street and North Central Avenue where police found a homeless man dead. They say he either fell or jumped to his death from one of these nearby buildings. We now know his name is Frank Beck, but for 18 years, he was known as Downtown Phoenix John Doe. Investigators followed the typical steps trying to identify him, checking for ID, dental records, missing persons databases, even the serial number of a surgical implant in Beck's ankle, but nothing came back. This one was one that was unable to be identified with any traditional means. All this time, Beck's identity remained a mystery until the Phoenix Police Department and County Medical Examiner asked DNA Doe Project for help, a nonprofit that helps solve these types of cases. This case was referred to us um, early this year. Karen Binder and a group of apprentices got started using a new method called investigative genetic genealogy that has only been around for a few years. We build out the family trees for those DNA matches and find connections between them, which help us to sort of reverse engineer the family tree for the John or Jane Doe. The first big break they got was learning Beck's parents' ancestry. From there, they expanded that family tree to the point where they found a possible relative. Thankfully, his niece was able to help um, by submitting DNA for confirmation. The test came back a match and they were able to finally identify Beck. We provided answers to Frank's family who didn't know what happened to him for all of these years. So that's really, really important. Solving the case in just a few months using this new method. I think this is the future of cold case research. Binder says more than 500 cases have been solved this way, believing the technology will bring answers to more families. Things that we thought were impossible when we all started out are now known to be possible. The DNA Doe Project has helped with 15 cases here in Arizona, with four solved so far. We're in the Alert Center, Chase Lightly, 12 News.